don't know. Yeah, Iron Man 3 is the worst. No. To me, it's the worst. No. Iron Man 2 explained a whole lot of stuff that we needed in this movie. It, Civil War is, 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 is on the crutch I of agree. it. The Flash. Yeah, don't worry about the cat. Don't I, worry about I, the I villain. Don't worry about worry about what he did, man. All the stuff War that he did to me himself. is the weakest. Song. Nah, man, that set up that nah, set up all of the Infinity Stones. I watched Thor two. That that set up all the Infinity Stones. I'm so important at the end. Of the it's, it's the storyline wasn't great, but if you look at everything that led up to this, you I needed that. I don't care about that. I don't care about you that. Like movie to stand on his own two feet. I no, this is that's not only what, film. Only seen one. See, if you only want, film, if, if you want movies that stand on their own two feet, stay with DC <laughs> oh, because that's exactly snap. what DC does. They have oh, movies that stay on snap. their own two feet. No, 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 no. Their <laughs> movies are all connected. Yeah, no, that's okay. But if if my movie's gonna be great because of this mention of this guy then i think there's no no that's the theory. whole point that's the point of a comic book a comic book alone issue two is not going to stand by itself well, you need course. issue one two three and four well, of course but your whole weight of a movie can't be on like for example you just said the whole movie let's say thor ragnarok or thor 2 the whole movie was bad besides the one hot top scene that to me is not a good movie period that's not a good because i like i said i'm story driven i don't necessarily care about all the connected things whatever black panthers it's, it, it was connected, but it stood on its own two feet. You know what I'm saying? And that was connected, and I loved it. But so when it comes to, so when it comes to, if you look at Thor and Black and Black Panther, mm -hmm. his story stood on his own two feet because his story doesn't connect really to the entire universe. His is Wakanda. He's yeah. isolated in Wakanda. Yeah. That's where he stays. Yeah. Ant Man, the same thing. He stays on Earth. Yep. Thor though, Thor is connected to both Earth. And Asgard and to the yes, cosmic realm. So yes. you had to explain it, it, all of that. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that. I'm not talking about that. You're talking about that alone. I'm talking about the story. Who the, cares about the story? I care about the story. I think that's what the movie is based story, on. You gotta care about the story. Yeah, you no, no, no. You know, you <laughs> if, you, if you think about Ice, so if you think about Thor two, mm -hmm. what what about this? Thor what about the story? What, what was important? I'll say I'll, that's my point. If there was nothing about the story, that was important. Now what? Now, Look, for a video game, for a video game, you cannot buy a video game based on the graphics alone. If everything don't work in the video game, mechanics don't work. I'm gonna tell, tell you right but now. The graphic alone is beautiful. People buy a poor video people game. buy the Batman Asylum, those Batman Asylum stuff. When to me, my opinion, they all look the same. Every cover yeah. looks the same, and they all look Did the you same. Play them. Did I did the story. But here's the thing. You play them mm -hmm. based on what? Wait, are we even the story? Them? Yeah, we are. People yeah. played on the story. But that's why that's why the third that's why the third installment the um the resurgence one they had for the Arkham games flopped because the story was bad. That's why it flopped. It had the same graphics, same mechanics, same everything, but it was bad because the story was terrible. Wait, now was there a was there another game after that game? They might have one. So <laughs> you're you you're story driven. Story I'm more story driven than the movie had to has a good story for you to like it. Yeah. Your info giving um, um, movie um, has to give um, you information for your liking. Information that you, information that connects everything together. That's what a continuity is all about. That's what makes a story like this all form together. You have this different story, elements, but they all come together. This story is the ten years long. is connected to so many other stories, right? Mm -hmm. However, if I've never seen any single Marvel movie, this one will connect all the pieces, regardless. And I have, and let's say if I never seen any movie, don't know any of the characters. But that's gonna be they did that's a gonna great work. job story wise. Oh yes, definitely. They did a great job story wise explaining everything, even if I missed every single last movie. But then if you're gonna go back, let's say if someone watches this and they say, you know what, I want to watch the 18 movies that led to this point. Yeah. At some point they gotta read or they gotta watch the Thor movies. Yeah. They're gonna see Thor. They're gonna see the Thor how he was before. Oh, he was arrogant and all that yeah. stuff like that. Then they're gonna see Thor mm -hmm. in um Thor two, where you're like, all right, the story is bad, clearly. But all right, well, Odin is talking about entities that 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 was there from the beginning of time. Oh, they're talking about the stones. Yeah. And then they're gonna be like, all right, well, what about this ether? Oh, that's what the ether is. And then they'll be like, oh wait, the collector. Oh snap, the collector's in this movie too. But that's, they, they they hit on so many different topics. Okay, and I, and I and I tell you, and I agree, that was the good aspect okay. of Thor too. I see what's going on. However, here. you guys are arguing the same point, but it's different points. Because you're saying mm. that the story is just not in that movie. Stories, the old movies together. Yes, that's uh, you the story. saying the story is just within that movie. When the case is, I'm yes, saying, there is a story in the movie, but the story needs to be about the whole entire movie. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, I'm saying a story to me, a good movie has to kind of really stand on its own. This movie stood on its own, even if you didn't see all the other movies. Great that you did, but if you didn't see it, it still stood on its own. Thor two to me had one good movie, had one good good thing about it, which was connecting the dots. Other than that, it was terrible. It was stupid. It was it was a ridiculous movie. 
You know what I mean? So I think that uh, on another time we gotta have a draft, um, <laughs> and we'll see where it falls. If it lands in the top spots, or to me, is the bo- is the bottom of the barrel. Or in the bottom. It's the bottom of the barrel. I think Iron Man three, uh, two. We'll better. see if Corey takes that first. Put it like that's that. Your, that's your opinion, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you honestly, if. Like people who look at who look at this particular franchise mm-hmm. as all right, well, this movie by itself it, it stands alone. This movie doesn't stand alone. To me, honestly, no disrespect, but you're missing the entire point no. of this particular exercise of this particular brand. Because even if the movie flops, it didn't one, it didn't kill the momentum. Two, no, it didn't no, no. stop the story dead. No. If anything, it it just gave you context to everything that goes on because they touched back on this again when they were talking about, oh, this is what the stones were so, in the beginning. So imagine this: what if they never made any mention of the stones? Then how would the movie held up? If they made no mention of the stones, At which all. movie? This movie Thor, or Thor two? If they made no mention of the stones, if they made no mention of the of the stones, mm-hmm. then yeah, the movie was probably gonna flop. Okay, <laughs> that's, but that's the fact that they the fact that they made mention to it to tell you that you know what, even though Thor is having his story, his story still connects to the universe. His story still connects to everything that goes on. We would have never known who the collector was if we didn't see him at the end of Thor Rack and the end of Thor Two. Mm-hmm. Like we would have saw him in Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy Short. But then when he said one down, five to go, one down, five to go, what, that means there's five of these other things out there. Yeah. Are they the same now, type of stones? Now you're starting to look. Now you gotta speculate yeah. for these things. Now, if the movie was about that and not so much about the Dark Elves, I would have been. I probably would have been more cool. But you. I mean that. Then you well, have to say like that. Was you just, have to say that about almost every character. Then why would no. the movie about with, with Killmonger would be important? Look. You got to say that about everything. You always no. want to need some type of villain Look. to help the character story. You over here trying to defend Thor: Dark World. You can't defend that. I'm sorry. I can defend that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I understand what you're saying, but That's, as as, a, as if we're gonna put movies on tiers like we just did with rankings, uh-huh. we're not playing in the top five. We're, we're, we're going hey, to... Let me ask you a question. <laughs> are we putting this in the top five of Marvel films? Thor Dark World. No, are clearly we, not. Are we putting this in the top ten? No. Okay, then. So that's go to his point yeah, to say, hey, the story wasn't that good. Because if the story was good, but I'm not you saying, would I'm have not it. Saying, I'm not saying it at that bottom of the barrel. First of all, like, Iron Man 2 is like my worst Marvel film mm-hmm. to date. But just because it's my worst mean it can still... It's still better than a lot of other... Yeah. Superhero film. Yeah, that, that's my point. Okay. So, it, so it, like I said, story, whatever, it connects stuff. That's fine. I just didn't enjoy it. It's like yeah. I said, it's only uh, other than Logan, it's only a Marvel superhero film. I only see one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and the only reason why I say Iron Man three is the bottom of the barrel because Iron Man three did nothing for the universe. It did nothing. All it did was explain why Tony was going crazy. No, and after that, no, it, that no, was see, it. See, he got rid of you. You don't understand connection. You don't understand the brain sometimes. Go ahead. What, we see, what, what did we see Iron Man 3? Him going through some type of PTSD, whatever it happened. Mm-hmm. And we'll, next time we seen him was in Civil War. Well, actually, no, wait. What came first? Avengers. Iron Man 3, Avengers Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. Why did he create Ultron? Because of his PTSD. Thank you. No, no, no. It, 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 that's how it, it connects. connects the story. You gotta understand no, no, the no, whole I, story, I'm Corey. Tell, I'm, tell, I'm, tell, I'm, tell, I'm gonna tell you how you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you how you're wrong. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna tell you how you're wrong. Number you one, go. we see him talk about this. We see him talking about this yeah. all the way from Avengers. So when he saw what he saw in Avengers yeah. after seeing all that, he knew he had to create some type of peacekeeping thing yeah. to try to protect the world. And he he did didn't learn that. He didn't learn that in Iron Man three because he never mentioned anything like that in Iron Man three. Well, all he did, did was build. All he did was build a bunch of suits yes. because he was yeah. like, yeah, yes. not build to protect the world. Because, no, he, had not, was because he was stre- he was stressed out. That's why he built all those suits. It wasn't to build suits to protect the world. Why was he world. stressed? Uh, you, you doing it again, Corey? You saying yeah. you saying yeah. my answer, but you trying to use that as your answer. In Avengers, in Avengers, he went to space. He went to space. He got crazy. Like, uh-huh. oh man, I seen this. We gotta fix this. And he didn't say we. He says I, I gotta, gotta I gotta build I a gotta, bunch of suits because I.